Hey, what up guys, Ron PC Battle Stations, and we got the latest wireless router from the networking heavyweight Netgear. It is the Nighthawk Pro Gaming XR1000 Wi-Fi router. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this thing and see exactly why everyone needs to upgrade their wireless router ASAP, and uh, especially gamers. So, let's do this. After unboxing this bad boy, it is much sexy. Mm. It definitely looks a lot like the F117 Nighthawk. They nailed the look. And let's see if this is as much of a powerhouse as the real F117 Nighthawk. So it features a 1.5 gigahertz triple core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, it has four gigabit ethernet ports, and a USB 3.0 port. It also features a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz band, along with a guest network with another 2.4 and five gigahertz band. It features the new Wi-Fi 6, which is now 802.11ax. We all know uh, the current or the old Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac. And here's some reasons Wi-Fi 6 is definitely something that we all need to be upgrading to ASAP. So Wi-Fi 6 extends each device's battery life by basically telling the Wi-Fi radio to go ahead and go to sleep and also to go ahead and turn the radio back on to receive its next transmission. So this will conserve power by having the Wi-Fi radio spend more time in sleep mode, which means longer battery life. Wi-Fi 6 can talk to more devices at once by dividing the wireless channel into a large number of sub-channels. This is extremely helpful nowadays since our homes have so many devices that want to connect to the internet. And they say it can increase the capacity by about four times compared to Wi-Fi 5. Wi-Fi 6 can also increase each device's speed by about 40%. And I confirmed this by running a couple tests on my phone and some of my PCs that are Wi-Fi 6 capable. Uh, I actually saw about 25 to 50% increase in some of these devices, which is amazing. When setting up this router, it had you download the Netgear app on my phone, uh, which I actually like because I can actually control this uh, router from my app in addition to a desktop. Um, so in the app, you can also, you can check notifications. You can look at devices that are connected to Wi-Fi. You can test the internet speed right from the app. You can change settings, manage a guest network, and use traffic meter to monitor the amount of internet traffic on your network. Now I kept this off just because I heard that traffic meter can actually slow down your overall speed by trying to monitor everything. I can't verify this, but you know, I can definitely understand that. It also comes with a 30 day trial of Netgear Armor, which is nice to have that added security to basically scan your devices for any kind of vulnerabilities and also monitor your network for anything malicious. So as soon as I fired it up, got everything set up, that Netgear Armor was already scanning all my devices. Now let's take a quick look at Duma OS by logging into the router from a desktop. Now this is where being a powerful gaming router comes in. It has amazing grand grandular grandular la 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 Luke Luke. It has awesome granular control. It has a geo filter section which allows you to customize and filter which game servers you play on and exclude ones outside of your range. The ping heat map allows you to ping your favorite game server to display your connection quality to each server on a world map. And this optimizes for faster online gaming and smoother streaming with minimal lag, and increased bit rate and reduced ping rate up to 93%. So an example of this is let's say you have a 30 millisecond latency and your competition has an 80 millisecond latency. So you having the lower ping means that your information will reach the server first, allowing you to crush the competition. QoS allows you to prioritize not just a single device, but a genre of traffic like gaming, live streaming, VPN, etc. So you can balance your network by allocating bandwidth to exactly the applications and devices that matter to you most. Now control maximum upload and download speeds to minimize those leg spikes. The connection benchmark tests your connection quality by running a test directly from your router rather than going online you know, for a speed test. Device Manager is where you can view, label, and find information about all the devices connected to the router. I really like that the look of this device tree shows how everything is connected. Network Monitor provides stats about your network connection by device, application, and type of traffic in real time. The graphs make it easy to find bandwidth hogs and tracking leg spikes easy. Traffic Controller lets you set rules for specific devices and traffic, allowing for flexible and scheduled blocking and freezing internet access. Now these are just the main features of this router. There's a whole lot of other settings you can go in and play with, making this one beast of a router. 
This router isn't cheap, but it's worth it in my opinion. So you get what you pay for most of the time. Now having a solid wireless router in your home nowadays is a must if you value your wireless connection for all your devices in your home. It's currently going for about $350 on Amazon, and I definitely think it's worth it. I can't wait to have this beast handling my Wi-Fi. There'll be a link down in the description, so go ahead and check it out. So thanks guys for watching the video. Hopefully you learned something new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, What's leg? <laughs> What's leg? <laughs> What's leg? Lag. I got an accent. Leg. Lag. I have an accent. <laughs> I heard it was developed in 2017 by Halo Gamers to combat lag. It's an old urban myth. <laughs>